Hello everybody, it's January 17th. It's a Sunday. I thought I would show you very quickly my outfit of the day and then talk about a few things. So it's all me made. I'm wearing a lady skater dress and this cute plaid double brush poly that I got from Girl Charlie. It was the last thing I, one of the last things I made last year um, in December. It's got, I added a puff to the sleeve. I really like how these little sleeves came out. I'm wearing my ratty but soft hand knit black cardigan. I've got a vintage hair scarf I got on Etsy. Um, and I have uh, my lipstick today is Wonderland by Urban Decay. Again, um, I'm wearing this really cute necklace. Isn't that cute? It's the Bride of Frankenstein and the Monster together in this little cameo with a little black bow. This is from Monsters Need Love on Etsy and sadly her shop is closed now, which kind of breaks my heart because I bought two different necklaces from her and I had plans to go back and get some more stuff. She was just this amazing um, purveyor of all things Psycho Billy jewelry. So I was really into it. Today I am going to, after we finish, order a new liquid liner. This one uh, is the NYX What's the Point, which I'll probably buy again, but it's starting to run out of juice and so it's getting really hard to control. So it's at that point in its liquid liner lifespan where every day is Amy Winehouse Tribute Day. And I love Amy, but I would like some choices. I would like to not have like mega wings all the time. <laughs> Let's see, um, what else? Uh, yesterday I got some knitting done. I'll show you that in a second. But uh, we watched a movie last night. It was so good. It's on Amazon Prime and it's called Eat Locals and it's this vampire movie. It's very British um, and it has a bunch of Doctor Who alumni. Um, so it has the actress who played Martha Jones from Doctor Who. It has the person who played Vincent Van Gogh in the beautiful Matt Smith episode where they met Vincent Van Gogh. Um, it has Gwen from Torchwood and she's really cool. Um, and then it also has, for Marvel fans um, and just Charlie Cox fans, because he's adorable, Charlie Cox, who is Daredevil, is in this as well. Um, there's uh, an older uh, woman in here that was in a Doctor Who episode. So it's like a Doctor Who like reunion <laughs> episode. It's got like so many different people in it from so many things. The director is the one from Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels and Jason Statham does some of the fight choreography. It's, it's not like the most high paced, fast moving vampire movie. It's definitely like a, a more, calm vampire movie even with the action scenes but it was good and I had a really good time my husband and I loved it so eat locals on Amazon Prime it's free if you have Prime you can watch it on there and I got to get some knitting done during that so here is the cha-cha cardigan and we are at the point where we have started the black ribbing Yes! So I've got a couple more inches of ribbing to go. I'll just kind of pop it on so you can see where it is on the body. Well, I'll just pop one side on. I can't actually put it all on. But if I stand up, you can see kind of how that's going to work. It looks great with this red, right? It's so flashy. But anyway, um, I think I only need to do maybe. I think I'll probably do like another inch because I want to be able to wear it with high-waisted skirts and stuff. But yeah, this was quick. Um, and then I just gotta do sleeves and a button band. And I've gotta order some black buttons because oddly, I checked my button stash and I really don't have any black buttons right now. This is my only frustration with this necklace. Do you see how it like flips around? It doesn't stay facing the right way. I wonder if there's a way to fix that. Maybe I can tighten up the little ring that it's on or something. So the other thing I did today after work um, is I finally cut it, cut out 
the last of the patterns that I printed off, which is the Nyoka Knit Dress with Crossover Accent from Sinclair Patterns. So this is the line drawings for that. So it's got a cool crossover bit in the front. You can have long sleeves, you can have short sleeves, you can have sleeveless, you can do it with an A-line skirt, a peplum top, or that um, pencil skirt style, which I never thought I would really go for, but this year I made two pencil dresses and I really like them. And I also made a pencil skirt that I really like. So who knows, maybe I'll go for that. I am dying to see how this dress comes together, like how that front bit works. Here's some more pictures of it. You see how cool it is, the little crossover thing? I was really worried I was going to like call more attention to my tummy, but I don't think it will. I mean, there's people of all sizes making this dress and everybody looks really good. So I might get some um, test fabric and kind of see what I think about it. Um, I actually like this blue and white color blocked one this gal made. Like, that's the straight skirt version, which I didn't think I would like, but look how cool that is. I mean, could you imagine it with like a dot at the top or a stripe at the top and like a solid skirt? I like this version a lot. This floral is like, hi, beautiful. And then this hot mama with the maxi one because you can do it as a, a maxi dress too. And I love it with the solid, that's beautiful. So, I don't know, I might get some fabric, and maybe a solid color and try making that up and see. I have some pink coming in a solid, but I've kind of earmarked that for Valentine's Day, so I don't really want to use it as a test fit. So um, I might see if I can sniff out something inexpensive in like an ITY jersey or something. We'll see. So anyway, that's, that's kind of the pattern I'm obsessed with right now. Um, I was gonna wear my hair down again, and I worked out with the bike, and I did not put it up in pen curls again, so it was kind of a hot mess, which is a shame. I was hoping this set would last a third day, but that was not to be. Um, so we've got the scarf. I need more scarves, honestly, in other colors too. It's starting to get all loose and stuff. I gotta make sure I pin it. I'm gonna be wearing it for very long, but. Yeah, I just put my hair in like the saddest ponytail in the world and then slapped a scarf on. So it's kind of nice having hair long enough to do that. That's like new, new information. I haven't had hair long enough to do that in, I don't know, 10 years since I got married to my husband, maybe longer. So anyway, yeah, that's enough waffling. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, oh, I was thinking about tomorrow. So I want to make a wrap dress with that pink fabric. And I've made a bunch of wrap dresses last year. And I used three patterns specifically. So I was thinking about tomorrow filming a thing where I'm like comparing all the wrap dresses I made last year. I'm kind of deciding which one I like the best and sort of sharing pros and cons. So stay tuned for that. I might do it tomorrow if I feel up to it. And uh, I'll see you guys later.